Hi folks, have you ever got jammed up trying to beat the fix the traffic scenario? Well, your struggles are over. In this video, I'm going to show you just how I beat the traffic scenario. So buckle up and shift into high gear as we enter the express lane to conquering the traffic scenario. Smash that subscribe button below right now and click on the bell so that you don't miss out on great tips on how to play City Skylines. And if you like the video, give it a thumbs up so that other city builders will know that this is a video worth watching. Or just give it a thumbs up for yourself so you'll always be able to go back and watch it again if you need to. So here we are playing the fix the traffic scenario in City Skylines. Our goal is optimizing traffic can be very challenging. Clearly the previous mayor of Appletown had no idea of how to plan an efficient road network. They need a traffic hero to the rescue. Though wind conditions are traffic flow over 82% and a population over 35,000. Losing conditions are a population under 25,000 or we play 200 game weeks and we don't reach our goal. So that is the problem at hand. So there's more to fix than traffic in this traffic scenario. We still have a city that has services and it needs to survive and we have a budget. And we have a certain limitation of how many moves we have or how many turns we have to get to the goal. You can see over here we got poor trash collection and if we look down here, we just have a mess when it comes to wastewater. So we've got a few things to clean up here that have nothing to do with traffic. So let's fix an obvious problem here and that is we have a whole bunch of dirty water polluting our stream. So I'm kind of wasting away game weeks here so I'm going to put the game on pause. And that will give me time to do this fix. Okay, I've just added an advanced inland water treatment plan, so I'm hoping that boosts my sewage treatment. Let's hit play and see what happens. Okay, we're well into the green. Now we need water, so we're going to have to find a clean water source and get some more water. And look at that, that's already cleaning up that mess. That was basically a big environmental mess we had there. Well, we're a capital city and we've reached a population of 32,000. Okay, that gives us some more assets. I'm going to hit pause. Just click on the game goals. We have to hit a population of 35,000 just as a reminder and traffic flow over 82% and I've only gone five game weeks so looks like we're in good shape and our population is certainly over 25,000. So I've gone upstream here and these conditions don't look the greatest. I've got a bunch of water towers here and a water source that doesn't look very stable but nonetheless let's go down here okay we need to add some water pumping stations so let's go down here this looks like a pretty good spot and let's put a couple in maybe three all right, and we'll connect them up. And we'll make sure they have power, which they do. And we'll hit the play button. So we know that they have power and they're connected to the water system. So let's hit play. And let's see how our water availability goes. Okay, now we're in the green for water. So now our water system is in good shape. That wasn't a traffic problem to solve, but it was a water one. And this always scares me when it dries up like this. It says it's operating normally, even though there doesn't look to be any water here. So I'm going to hope that that continues. So we solved that little problem. Now if you click on here, there's too few services. And that is a perennial problem or an ongoing problem in our little city here when we're really our goal is to fix traffic. And if I go down here, 
low land value. So let's see if we can fix some of these inherent problems in our city. And again, I've got the game on pause because I don't want to use up valuable game weeks. So let's just look at our services like fire. Okay, fire coverage looks pretty good over here on this side. Oh, sorry, that's healthcare. Okay, there's fire. Looks pretty good over here. And it's lousy there. So let's put a fire station right about there. And what about fire elsewhere? Oh, it's absolutely terrible down here. And if I had a fire station right there, that'll fix that problem. And again over here, we're a little weak on fire coverage. Now let's look at policing. Policing looks pretty good. Oh, again, there's a neighborhood over here that doesn't look very good at all. We'll add that. And over here, this wonky little streets over here looks awful. So let's add a police station right there. Well, again, our basic services should be in good order. And go to healthcare. And perhaps we need to put a medical clinic in some places. We do again. This is just awful. Put one there. Put one there. That looks good. And maybe one over here. <sighs> Boy, I'm using up my money awful quick here. So let's hit play. And let's let the game play for a little bit. I got to make up some money to make up for all the services I've built. Now, an ongoing problem here too that we can see is garbage has piled up. So that's the other city service problem we have to deal with and that is garbage. Or the broader term is waste management. So I can build a recycling center for 20,000 and I can build a landfill site for 5,000. Nobody likes a landfill site near them. So perhaps what I can do is build one off to the side over here or over there. Basically build it off the side. Wow, this water's really drying up on me. Not operating. Operating normally. Uh oh. Not operating. Okay, we have a problem. Our water pumping stations are not operating properly. I'm going to take that one and relocate it down here. Try right about there. And then I'll connect it to the water supply and make sure it's got electricity, which it does. Let's go back here. We have another problem that's not operating. So let's relocate that one. So again, our problem seems to be, or our problem set is more than just traffic. And that's what we have to deal with. Okay, so now those water pumping stations should be working. Is this one working? It is. And we got a problem down here somewhere. Oh, electricity. And we're running out of electricity. So again, it's a city service issue or a general city service issue. It's got nothing to do with traffic and that's our struggles at the moment. So let's see what we have. First of all, let's put it on pause. Buy myself some more game weeks by not wasting them away. Con power and I could build a coal power plant, a hydro dam. So a coal power plant requires coal and it usually needs to be very close to the highway. <clears throat> uh oh, I got another problem over here. No outlet. How's that possible? What happened? Oh, because they have no power. So I gotta build a power station and I gotta find a good place to build a ugly, dirty coal plant. That's an industrial area, so I'm gonna go for the industrial area. And not too far from this interchange so that it'll be close to the highway and it'll have coal supplied very easily. Well, when the traffic gets resolved, it'll be very easy. Up until then, it's a problem. Okay, I've built a coal plant and let's just see how our power is doing. We are in trouble. We are in the red. We are losing money. Our population is going down and my power is not enough for the city so I really am in dire straits here. And I have even started to deal with the traffic issues. So that's what I say this traffic scenario, although it's supposedly a traffic scenario, there's all kinds of other problems you have to deal with. And I'm really struggling now because I am in the minus. So let's, oh, let's go to our budget. First of all, let's pause the game. Go to our budget. 
And let's do some fixing here. I'm going to raise everything up to 12%. Let's see if that works because I'm sinking fast. Okay, got $94. Okay, it's going back up. So now I'm starting to get a little bit of traction when it comes to money. Let's look at my power situation. Still bad. So I have a garbage problem and a power problem I have to take care of with this city. And again, I haven't even looked at the traffic issues. That's the way this scenario is going to go, I think. And of course, the traffic is just brutal. So I got to make some money. And while I'm doing that, let's just check where we are. Okay, just 10 game weeks have gone by. So I think we're in pretty good shape still. Let's just pause the game one more time. Check where we are. I need more electricity. I don't have enough money for that coal power plant. I could build wind turbines, but I don't find them to be very cost effective. They're certainly very green, but not very cost effective. So let's let the game play for a little while. So we'll get enough money to put in a power plant. And after we put in a power plant, then we're going to have to deal with the garbage issue. Okay, I got $27,000 in change. Let's see if I can pop in another coal plant. That's not what I was looking for. That's what I was looking for. Oh, I'm just into the yellow. This is painful. Very painful. I have enough money now to build another power plant. Build one more. Our head's a little tiny bit above water, but not a lot. Okay, now it's not above water. So the power for this city is going to be a problem. I'm going to have to let the game play a little bit and make some money. But actually, while that's happening, I could probably simultaneously go and fix some traffic problems. Because there are some traffic fixes I can do that actually aren't going to cost me anything if I use the Traffic Manager Presence Edition, this little node right up here. This is where I can finally get my head above water and build a power plant, and hopefully it's the last power plant I'm ever going to need to build. I'll hit play, and we're just into the green, so the power is just stable. Now we also have a trash problem for the city and I'm kind of thinking for the moment I better get on to fixing some of these traffic issues or I'm never going to get there. So where do we fix first? Well let's take a look at the situation. Look here and we got problems all over the place. So here's a huge problem here. There's only one access into this neighborhood and one access into that neighborhood. And it all funnels down into here. All right, so we got to fix that. We got everything funneling down into here and perhaps some traffic signals or some traffic timing adjustments will help fix things there. We got a lot of one-way roads here and I'm not quite sure I like how that's orientated, but it might work. And we got some problems here. So this area here is probably one of the worst, if not the worst, traffic congestion. So there's one traffic problem we absolutely have to fix. And then there's this mess right here. So we've got a lot of back to back to back to back interchanges, which is not going to work. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take out that one there and that one there and see if that helps a little bit. Our traffic flows at 39%. So let's do some bulldozing and see if that helps things in terms of traffic flow. And again, I'm going to keep the game on pause while I do this work. So this is too close to that interchange, so I'm going to get rid of that one. That one. So now it's just an overpass. And same thing here. Once again, it's just an overpass. I'm not sure why we need an interchange that connects right to a city street here. I would say we don't need an interchange. And we certainly don't need an off-ramp here when you got you just drive straight through. So let's take that ramp out and that ramp out. And then I'm going to go back and just increase the width of these roads here so they can handle the traffic just a bit better.
Here we go. There, that's a nice flyover now. And there. Okay, so we have only one and really a half interchanges here after this one. So let's hit play. I think we're around 39% traffic and it might take a little while, but that should start to alleviate things here. We've got better interchange spacing. So that's a start. And I'm always wondering why do we even have an interchange here? And why do we have a highway when it's just going to end here anyway? Perhaps all we need are some wide arterial roads. Let's take a look at our traffic. Still at 39%, so that didn't do a lot. Okay, so what else can we do to fix this? Still pretty red. Even that's red. Oh, this is a little better. That's not so good. So I'm thinking of turning this highway into an arterial road. I don't really see the need for a highway here. Well, right now there's a lot of traffic being stored up. So for the moment, let's leave it. Yeah, a highway that just terminates at an intersection like this is pretty awful. Well, let's go for it. Let's change this highway into just an arterial road, which will make this just an intersection, which perhaps that's all we really need. Well, let's give it a try. And our traffic actually went down. So things may be just a little tiny bit worse. Well, there's not a lot of traffic in this area. It's all focused here. So let's see. Let's go back here and see if we can fix this mess here because this is just awful. And we have a trash problem which I know about. Let's see if I can build see if I can build a landfill site. Maybe one right there. That'll help out, I hope. And probably need one over there somewhere on this side. That's yeah, not so bad. My electricity's down again. Well, yet again, let's build another electricity plant, a power plant. So again, it's coal. And we're now in the green. We have all these roads that end and don't go anywhere. All right, let's take a look here. We got traffic backed up here, and we have this wonky little intersection. So it's a highway to highway connection, but in reality, just an arterial road on either side. So we have one, two, three, four, five legs of that intersection. So we can take this one out because, well, I believe we can. Gotta be careful with all these one way roads, but let's take that one out. That eliminates one of the conflict moves. And I'm also going to take out that one. Uh, I can't take out this one, I don't think, because it services the industrial area. Well, I might be able to. Oh, these are one way roads, and I think that needs to be fixed. So let's get rid of that connection there and that connection there. So now, really, I just have a ramp coming in and a ramp there and a ramp here. So there shouldn't be a need for traffic lights here. So if I hit play, and away they go. That should open things up. Alright, so now we got this wonky situation here. They're still backing up trying to get into this city. Give them another intersection. Let's try that. I like the five lane cross action because it comes basically with the built in left turn lane. And I don't think we need two intersections really close together. 
We got a whole bunch of intersection collected here, so let's do something there. So let's take this out. And I would take out that. So the next thing I gotta do here is there's all of these little odds and sods to fix. So that needs to be consistent. And then if you look here, this row doesn't connect, which doesn't make any sense to me. So let's connect it. And it's too short. All right, let's just do some fixing. All right, and let's hit play. So it might take some time for this to clear. And things are still clogging up at this intersection. Let's start cutting down on the number of intersections. Now I realize by cutting down the number of intersections, I'm, my population is going down, but I think there's some necessary things I have to do here to fix this traffic and that there's just way, way too many intersections in this scenario as it stands right now. Let's relocate the small playground. Put it over there. That opens it up here for me to use this road. And I can put some very ugly, otherwise not liked services down here, such as let's keep this landfill site as close to the highway as possible and as far away from the residential area as possible. So I think there will work. And put in a recycling facility. Check that they have power, and they do. Check that they have water, and they do. Just check where we are. Boy, that traffic is just not coming up yet. Oh boy, my water's disappearing again. Not operating. I need another water source badly. And there looks like a pretty good one right there. So can I buy property yet? I can. So I need a water source badly, so I think I'm going to have to go over here, either here or here. There's lots of open space for development over here. It's similar over here, and I can, well, I can have a little connection to the highway here. I got lots of room to make a connection to the highway there, but that train's a little bit bumpy. The focus of this scenario is to fix the traffic. so. I'm going to need another highway connection. There's no doubt about that. So let's purchase this block right here. This tile gives me two things. Gives me more access to a highway and more access to water. And those are two things I really need right now. Well, water availability is still good. That is surprising. Considering everything that's going on. What I'd really like to go here is not just a T-type intersection interchange or a trumpet one. I'd, just, I'd like a full interchange to go right in there. But maybe not just yet. If you look at the train, the train's horrible. Okay, I've got services over here. So let's put, uh, let's put a plant over here just for variety. Not stick it in that same area I had before. This is one but ugly little city. Okay, that solved the electrical problem, but it did not solve our trash problem. Well, I'm thinking right down here, without building any more road right now, is just sticking a landfill site around this area. They're not going to like it, but I know my population is around 27,000. And I could extend that road out, or extend that one. Well, let's try to extend that road.
I'm going to build a landfill site right here. It will be very unpopular. It will be usually unpopular. The slope's too steep. Slope's too steep. Or maybe I could pop one in here. Let's do that. And let's take a look at this little highway here. See, we got some one-way streets. We got to fix this. The trucks can't get there. Oh, yes, they can. They have to go around like that, though. Uh, let's just fix it. There we go. So this is obviously one of the biggest issues here. This type of connection here, which is just horrible. You've got an interchange here, and it's very close to this one, and it's not even in use. Like there's hardly any vehicles on these ramps at all. Yet you go here, and they're lined up like crazy. So let's fix this little bottleneck right here. I'm going to do a lot of bulldozing around here, and again, my population is suffering, but, and I've got to watch my money. So well, let's do some rearranging here. Let's just take all this out. It really looks unnecessary to me the way this is laid out. So what I'm thinking is maybe that's just a simple diamond interchange. Really, it, it's an arterial road now. We don't need an interchange. I may regret all this bulldozing. I'm going to forget where I was and what I was doing. Hopefully that won't happen. I got a lot of one-way roads here going away, going away, that's going in. You go down this way, around and out, down this way, around and out. So that should technically work. And let's hit play. 42 percent. Wow, all that work and all did it was up by about 3 percent. Anyway, things are starting to improve. So this intersection is going to break down most likely, but let's let it function for a little while. Even that as an intersection is doing better as a simple intersection than the interchange was doing. Let's do some timed traffic signals here to see if that helps us. We hit pause. Time traffic signal. So we're going to set up a time traffic signal. Add a step. Let's do that's green and that's green for a long time. We need these guys to get a lot of green time. So we'll add that. Add a step. That goes red. I'll zoom in a little bit so it's easier to see. That goes red. That goes green. Why is that? Oh, it's one way. All right, well, hopefully it'll work. Let's give it a shot. And that doesn't have to be as much. So 20 seconds. And 30 seconds. And add. And then we hit start. Hit play and see how things go. So now that's moving a little bit better. We got that intersection. Didn't cost us anything. All we did was use the Traffic Manager Presence Edition. And yes, things are going to pile up over here, but they're starting to improve very slowly. And yeah, my population totally sucks. We're at 48%. So we're going to have to come back here and do some more adjustments. That is just not going to do it, is it? There's just too much traffic there. Well, let's let that traffic flow for a little while and go back down here to our friend. 
So the big issue here is we have two highway connections and not only the highway connections but they're the only way to get from one side of the highway to the other. So let's create some crossings that are flyovers that will simply alleviate some of the traffic by virtue of the fact that people could take alternate routes. So let's give that a shot. Build some flyovers. That over a little bit. I'd have to empty that to do that. Well, let's empty it. Okay. And then I'll build another landfill somewhere else. Be way over here. Make sure it's got water and power. Which it does. There we go. Got another connection. It's a little wonky, but I got another connection in. That should take some pressure off traffic that's trying to go just like this. It'll probably take a little while for it to kick in. But we still have this problem. Okay, what's happening here? Okay, we gotta do some lane management here. Let's go back to the traffic manager and let's do the change lane arrows to make sure we got them all going the right way. So straight through, we don't want to turn a left or a left. Straight through, straight through, all the way. There we go. And that's kind of unlocked a little bottleneck there. Alright, that should help for this direction. And we still got a bottleneck going that way. Well, we still have a bottleneck period. I'm at 31 game weeks and my traffic flow totally sucks. Well, let's see if I can do some landscaping. I want to level the terrain. Oh boy. Oh, like that. My soil availability goes down very quickly. And I'm out of soil. Let's see if I can plop an interchange in there. Because the interchange I really wanted is that one. Timbo is stacked interchange. I just need a few more bucks. Or maybe just any connection is better than no connection. Let's hit pause and blow it up. We need to make a connection here. There we go, we got interchange. Now we just gotta orientate that. knew you would do that to me. Don't do that to me. Come on. For just a second there it turned blue. Right there. Okay, it might be a little off on the left hand side, but where it's gotta go. There we go, got a brand new interchange. So let's complete the connections. And we don't really have anything on that side just yet, so I'm not worried about it. 
I know it's bumpy here or hilly, but I, I don't want to waste money on more landscaping. Let's use the roundabout builder. And I want a four lane highway. That should start to solve some of our traffic problems. 52, we're in the 50s. Okay, we're getting there. Give it time. And let's just check these. The connecting legs of the roundabout are now yielding to the roundabout itself. I'm going to need to build some residential areas soon because my population is tanking. Got to get that population up and get traffic more focused. 54%. Still lots of problems. So we still got to fix this type of movement here and more importantly it's this movement. So let's take a look here. So first of all this is a one lane ramp. So let's just pause the game and let's make that ramp bigger. Let's try to increase the capacity by increasing the ramp size. Two lane highway. Okay, so if that's two lanes, and that's one lane, there's three that balances. So that should help out a little bit, but we still got a bottleneck right here. Everybody wants the exact same lane, so let's fix that. Do some lane management here. We can use the lane connector to make sure that for here, these guys go into that lane, nearest lane, and that lane. And they might bog up down here, it's what they tend to do, but at least hopefully we can get these ramps not colliding with each other. Give that a try. There we go. That opens that up a little bit. Little by little, it's getting better. This is kind of wonky. This is a left-hand exit as opposed to a right-hand exit, which is what you would typically get at an interchange. And there's a lot of weaving right here. So you see that truck goes in, and he wants to go that way. So we have a weaving problem right in there. So let's fix this so that it's your typical type of curve, or your typical type of ramp. Hit pause. Oops. Look, it's a little too much there. Choose a ramp, we'll make it a two lane ramp. That's not very pretty looking, I know. Now let's go back to the problem at hand, which was we need a ramp. It goes across here. So you know what? Let's take it out. And why would you have this ramp go that way and that ramp also connect that way?
Makes no sense to me. So now this movement here is not weaving across, it should be just come out and then go like that. We've eliminated the weaving, even though the trucks keep on going over there. They haven't figured it out yet. Okay, now they're starting to figure it out because they're like despawning right here. I don't get that. Nobody's taking this ramp just yet. Okay, there's one truck finally. They figured it out. And here's another goof, goofy situation. They go here, they gotta weave, come across, and then go like that. When really, they just should just come across this way. It's still not a perfect interchange, but we're just, we're gradually getting there. So let's hit pause. And let's take that out. Well, actually, we can take that out too. Nobody's using it. Okay, so I have one lane going into two lanes. Oh wow, this here really here should be three lanes. Let's fix that. Which means that should be four lanes. All right, now let's see what that did. Traffic, 53%. There we go, they found the ramp. So we've solved the weaving problem here, and we've solved that little problem, but they're still stacking up here. So we solved that weaving problem, and we still gotta fix this. 58%, so we're in the high 50s, but we're nowhere near where we need to be. And we are at game week number 40. Well, we've accomplished a lot today. We shored up and maintained essential city services like water, power, police, fire, and garbage collection. We've raised taxes to manage our budget. And we've eliminated unnecessary intersections and back-to-back -back interchanges. We've widened overpasses and roads. We've converted a highway to an arterial road. And we've been using my favorite mod, the Traffic Manager Presence Edition, to do many things, such as set up time traffic lights and using the change lane arrows to relieve bottlenecks. We've built a whole new interchange. And we've added lanes to highway ramps. And we've even fixed some weaving between ramps. And we've reconfigured an existing interchange. So let's wrap it up here, folks. But hold on to your seats. In the next video, we're going to get down to business when it comes to fixing traffic. So I will see you in part two of how I beat the fix the traffic scenario. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends. If you haven't done so already, smash that subscribe button and click on the bell so you don't miss out on great tips on how to play City Skylines. Click on that box in the bottom left hand corner right now to see a video you're almost guaranteed to love. This video was selected just for you by YouTube. And they know what you like. So what are you waiting for? Click on the box now, sit back, relax, and watch another video.